someone that has never met you before can just look at you and feel that they want to destroy you. I'm just merely going to agree. I, I, I think that she laid out everything in the video very perfectly. But I will say as a living example, the nephew, I'm going to let him tell you a story in his own way. But it's very true. There are people that you will meet in this life. The more aware you become of yourself. See, everybody's talking about they want to become and, you know, and, and reach the higher levels of yourself and, and, you know, live in a new reality and all that kind of thing. You have to understand that that reality also has um, wickedness in it that is willed against you. It's nothing that you need to be afraid of, but you need to be very aware of what is going on. Upon moving to New York, we got here ready to, to help out and be you know, happy and, and, and have camaraderie and unity and all those wonderful things and literal spirits. I, I'm sorry, I know some people don't talk like that, but I do. There are people that literally had spirits of envy and destruction and malice um, in them that was veiled even to themselves and they will want to destroy you. You never know what is going to rise up in a person's heart when they have never really dealt with those shadows in themselves that make them feel shame, that make them feel embarrassed, that make them feel unworthy. When you walk in their presence, and, and as the video was saying, when you know that there's a light about yourself, you may not fully know what you're capable of doing or becoming in this life, but trust me, there are other people that do. There's another saying that goes, find out who you are before they do. Because a lot of times what happens is the person who is talented, the person who is creative, benevolent, generous, intelligent, really good looking, and you're, you're always the last one to know um, the special spice of your story. You don't know that at first. That's where security comes from when you begin to know who you are. If you find that out too late, there are people that will li literally and gladly ravish through your life and take away everything that you have. And the reason why they do that is not so much because they want what you have, but you are reminding them of what they don't have and what they are afraid to try for themselves. I talk about it all the time. OK, so as soon as you see that, act accordingly, pull away from people. Don't move in with people. Don't date other people. Don't do anything that has the looming cloud of destruction in it. You can feel it. You're smarter than you think. Your intuition is a lot stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. Society makes you feel like you don't know what you're talking about, but you know what's going on. Act accordingly and do not let anyone become successful in wanting to destroy the blessings of your life. Protect yourself. Become. I love you.